The Chicago blues, Motown, the Philly R&B thing, the Gamble and Huff thing. I hear soul music all over the place. Daryl made his first record with Kenny Gamble and, and, and Leon Huff. I made my first record with Bobby Martin, who went on to become their top arranger. He arranged all the back, backstabbers and For the Love of Money by the OJs. Um, so we actually started at the same time, and of course Gamble and Huff went on, on their way. Today, a salute to the musical genius of Gamble and Huff, the men behind the sound of Philadelphia. Their tunes made the world sing. With over 175 gold and platinum records from the likes of the OJs, Teddy Pendergrass, Billy Paul, Lou Rawls, and Miss Patti LaBelle. These are just some of the names that spun their magic here. Instant classics like Me and Mrs. Jones and Love Train. Standards like If You Don't Know Me By Now and For the Love of Money. These tunes and more would come to be known as the sound of Philadelphia. We actually had a decision to make in 1972. Were we gonna go with Gamble and Huff and actually become staff writers and perhaps producers and be part of their team, which would have been pretty amazing because I'm sure we would have done something really cool and interesting with them. We had a different dream and we felt like we needed to go to New York, we needed to break out of Philadelphia, and we needed to, we wanted to be, have a more of a world view. So we had three top five records in a row. You know, we had a hit with Rich Girl. had a hit with Sarah Smile. When I feel cold, you warm me. And when I feel I can't go on, you come and hold me. It's you and me forever. Sarah Smile. We had She's Gone. You know it's up to The 70s were exciting. Anything you're doing for the first time is always exciting. To me, the process of becoming is way more interesting than the victory lap of the 80s. Then we had a little bit of a lull in the late 70s, but then of course the 80s, you know, it went nuts, and exploded. Were, were like on hyperdrive for us. I mean, I literally would write some songs, we'd go in the studio, we'd record them, we'd make a video, we'd get on a bus or a plane and we'd take off and go on tour. We'd come back and do it again. And that happened, that started, it really, well, it started in 72, but honestly, but, but once in 1980, for the, that next six years, it never, ever stopped. When we started producing ourselves in 1980 with the Voices album, Everything that we had always wanted to do in that preceding 10 years came together. It was the culmination of the experiences and the recording experiences, the touring experiences, and the writing and creating ex creative experiences that all came together with this amazing band that we had developed 
and the fact that we were producing ourselves, making the exact records that we wanted to make, that's why it was successful. It started happening in the 70s. Radio gravitated toward Daryl's voice, and Daryl's voice became the signature sound of the band. What I want you got that it might be hard to handle, but like a flame that burns again. I had released a number of singles with me singing, and they, they did pretty well, top 20, top 30, but they never became the big hits. As soon as Daryl started singing and it locked in, it became, it became a signature thing. So what was my choice? I write a song like Man Eater or Out of Touch with the, pretty much the knowledge that if I sing it, it's probably gonna be good, but if Daryl sings it, there's a really good chance it's gonna be huge. Now, I'm a pretty smart guy and I'm a team player. If you are in a partnership and you want that partnership to be successful, you have to make certain decisions. And so I made those decisions the Chicago blues, Motown, the Philly R&B thing, the Gamble and Huff thing. I hear soul music all over the place. Soul music is music that touches you and resonates with you. It's not the domain of a, a race or a group of people. I don't have any definition of soul because to me, soul cannot be defined. It's soul is an emotional connection to something.